video. Bye! Hi Sneakies! It's me, Fifi, and I'm back. I'm back again today with another only one oh, reaction for you guys. I'm back literally just from reacting to them. This is gonna be my album first listen. What's it called again now? The Soul Collection. I'm loving the use of the word, like the word, the world, the word soul in the title track and in the album. It's just a vibe. It's giving me vibes, okay? So this is part two of the album first listen. If you've missed part one, it's and you're watching this on the day it dropped, it's literally the last thing I just posted. Or if you're watching this in the future, you can go over and find it in my only one of playlist, of course, along with all my only one of all my only one of reactions. There's a loads in there, reacting to pretty much everything that I can react to. At this point, maybe there's some remixes and stuff. Anyway, this is part two, and part two will consist of the three remaining B-sides, which are Candy Bomb, Blues, Blues, Blue, Blue, Blues. Guys, I need glasses, I can't read from here. Blue, Blue, Soul. Okay, Blue, Blue, Soul, Blues, Blue, Soul. Oh my God, and the last one, Nabby. Anyway, I'm super, super excited. Let's just go. Disclaimer, I will not be reading lyrics whilst listening to these songs. This is my first time hearing the song, so I want to concentrate on the music production and their vocals, which is my priority. The lyrics distract me from that, so I'll read them later in my own time. There are plenty of reactors out there who will do lyric readings. I'm just trying to vibe. If you want to vibe with me, then cool. Okay guys, let's go. So we'll continue the album first listen with the track Candy Bomb. Let's go. There's that iconic only one of Gorutin's. <laughs> 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 brilliant and just before the bridge came in i was gonna say i wanted something a little bit more from it like i wanted in the chorus as i loved i feel like this song is gonna grow me i feel like this song is a little bit of a snakery it's a snaky one it's a sneaky one and it will grow if you don't like it now it's gonna grow on you i like it already but i feel like it's one of those ones that's gonna grow on me even more um at first i was like ah oh, because i still feel this way uh i feel like if we had just had a, a nice pad in the chorus as much as I love the bum that bum it sounded really pretty but if we just had like a just a little just even just a wow 
Just a nice pad, just, just peeking in every now and then. Just, do you know what I mean? Just one little nice little melodic little, I can't explain it, little chord, little pad, something. When that bridge came in there, I was like, oh, if, if there wasn't a bridge, I feel like I definitely wouldn't have vibed with this as much as I did. Um, but as soon as that bridge came in, I was like, oh my God, it sent me to the heavens. The only thing I wish is if we'd kept some of those pads and synths from that bridge in the final chorus. Because the song was so short as well. Um, but I love that. Bum. Like those harmonies in that chorus is what's going to make me like listen to it over and over. I feel like that's de that song is definitely a grower. It's a shame it's so short. I kind of wish they'd carried on the chorus a little bit longer and added in a pad. But that's just me. I loved it either way. Let's go on to the next one. Okay guys, let's go next up. We have Blue Blue Soul. Let's go. Ooh, already love that voice. Oh. Ooh. That's such a pretty. See, I love the verses, not a hundred, but I'm not really feeling the chorus so much. Yeah, like this beat, I'm not really into it. Almost since the 80s, 80s is definitely not the group. You know what I'm saying? This part looks stunning. Ooh, I love the croakiness in his voice. Was that the end? Okay, so if you can't find it honestly, just leave. Uh, so rare for me, rare for me when it comes to only only one of, but this song wasn't really my vibe. It just isn't really the, the type of song that I personally put on and listen to. Uh, that doesn't mean that there were parts that I didn't like. There were parts that I really, really enjoyed. Like, I really, really loved the verses. And I love how the song started. It just sounded so dreamy and so nice. I loved as well the layers. There was just so many layers to, uh, to it. We had harmonies again. Really, really beautiful harmonies. And really, really nice ad-libs. I did indeed really, really enjoy the verses. However, the chorus wasn't for me at all. Just not into that beat that... I'm like, just not into that beat, unfortunately. Um, but it was a very, very pretty song. Very, very pretty, just not my vibe. Let's go on to the next one. Okay, guys, let's go. Last but not least, we have the track Nabi. Let's go. Oh, I love those chimes. Good. I feel like I'm gonna levitate. Mm. This 
is gonna be our favorite one. Whoa. Oh, well, of course. Oh, the delivery is different on this one. Guitar. Whoever's on the guitar in his album, they the same person on both songs, but. That was beautiful. The melodies and that, oh, the way they were delivered, like the way they were singing on this one, I love it. I say this all the time, but only one of, they have some of the best sort of like breathy and light vocals. Do you know what I mean? Like whenever they sing like this, oh, it just melts my innards and it just makes my soul lift off into the heavens above, you know, even heaven. But if there was a heaven, okay, that's the type of song that I want to go to heaven to, just like, also the lyrics in the chorus, I think Nabi, Nabi's Butterfly, I'm sure. So the lyrics in the chorus as well are really, really pretty from what I could hear. Anyway, um, guitar, again, the use of the guitar in that was stunning. Again, ad-libs with harmonies. I loved it. I loved the beat. Uh, I loved that little voice manipulation, the voice chop in the start. Absolutely stunning. That was by far my favourite track. Is there any point in me picking a top three? I don't think I'm going to pick a top three because I'm just going to pick a favourite track. I'm just going to pick a favourite track. It's between this and... What was the other one? Uh, the third one. I can't remember what it was called. Mirage. I think it was Mirage. Okay, I'm just going to say Nabi and Mirage. Mirage was the one with the guitar again, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was. Uh, yeah, I think those two are my favourite. Let me know which track was your favourite or which tracks were your favourite. I'll be honest, this wasn't their best, one of their best albums for me. I feel like they have a lot, they have much better albums, but it's only one of so it was still very, very much enjoyable. Um, I love them very, very much. They're so fucking talented. And yeah, that's it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up if you didn't like it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you have subscribed, I love you. I 
love you even if I'm your Instagram but it's gonna find me on Twitter and yeah goodbye oh